Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Darkest Hour with the AAR mod as Italy. We are here in 1950, approaching the end of Stalin's reign, which that's the only thing I could think of for uh, representing the 1950s. Um, so let me see here. I was trying to go for the, to attack the Ottoman Empire, but the belligerents actually uh, ran out, ran down to zero, so I can't declare war on them any longer. So we're gonna have to work on that once again. <sighs> Such, it's so frustrating, it really is. Uh, anyway, let's let's do it. Let's get this over with. Um, damn my headset. All right. Um, let's see. Not much really going on. Can't bring them to the alliance. I'd probably have to uh, knock off Peter the second, maybe. Maybe I don't know. Let's see. I want to get Greece in if I can, but I know they won't join. No, I can't do my territory, but not like I really want to. All right, so let's just go. Let's see if I can. That's my next intelligence. February 30th, okay. Now I can wait. I can wait patiently. Ugh, kind of. Oh, they better not run out. I will be severely pissed off if they, that happens. I would have to hurry. I wish this thing would hurry up. Hmm. Alright, so my target is to go after the Soviet Union. I want to. I really want to knock them out just because. It's such a nice, you know, achievement for Italy to go after. Damn it. Next time is April 30th. It would be such a great achievement for Italy just to you know, say that they knocked out the Soviet Union, the mighty Red Empire, and stopped the Red Scare from ever spreading again. Which will probably happen you know, in a few years. Alright, so when is it? April 30th? Yeah, what it said. Yeah, April thirtieth. Okay. And yours is in Mar May. Okay. Be nice to go after Egypt if I can. But of course, you know they're in military alliance with the Britain and them. I'm still trying to keep close eye out on their belligerents there. Alright, let's see. Okay, so that failed. And I won't be able to increase it till June. Ah, oh, they're down at. Alright, this is really gonna get on my nerves. Wish I, I wanted to do this! Just to get manpower. Might have to. I don't want to cheat. I know a lot of people are. I know some people are saying, "Hey, you know what? Just use the ex um, the freedom cheat and you know change your government." I just don't want to do it. I got a lot of shit in my uh, EU three just for doing that. Oh, looks like we lost the tech team there. That's unfortunate. Game to expire. Let's see. Yeah. Let's do that. Not like it's going to make much difference. Okay, July.
Because I tried Czechoslovakia. If I remember, I think Hung I think uh, Romania and Czechoslovakia is alliance was actually due to keep uh, Hungary in check. If I remember correctly, the little the little, the little entente. Oh. Damn it, they found out. They knew. You know, all these like texts, all these air attacks for some for whatever reason. Actually, there's a reason for it, but. Let's see. Night vision tactics, interesting. I shall check that out. Work with me here. They probably even should have went this route. Yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't have the manpower, that's right. Of course I don't have manpower. Ah, uh, hmm. Do it. The Air Cav Doctrine, huh. That's not until 1955. Advanced encryption, yeah. How long? Well, that's September. Damn, am I going to really spend this entire game just, or this entire video just trying to get a global manipulation on them? If that's the case, it's going to suck. But I know I got a lot of shit for kind of doing that kind of cheating on a EU3 for like what was it magistrates I think it was and a colonist because yeah. I didn't because if it slipped my mind on how I you know how, how it was supposed to be done whatever I got a lot of shit for that people were just bitching at me for like for cheating on that it's like damn never thought I'd get a reaction like that that was quite interesting all right August Mom, September. All right, let's see. I just want to get a global manipulation so I can get some belligerents. That's all I want. It's all. Is that too much to ask for? Yes, it's not. Probably should have loaded all these on there anyway. Oh well. Right, let's go. Airborne assault. Go. Ooh, that's right. I can do this. Hmm, more propaganda. What would that give me? Okay, I'll do that. Uh, I'm not going to do press censorship. The give me more of a towards authoritarian. Uh, I can actually. Hold on. If I do that, hmm. No, that would decrease the morale. I can do this though. Sweet. So I'll do that. Nice. Oh, that's so nice. It's nice to see that. All right, land there. No. Base there. No. Oh, you dumbass transports. All right. 
Now let's uh let's hurry and blitz this through. Probably should have waited. There we go. Alright. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm going to keep one more here. There we go. Actually, uh, who do I want to keep behind? It keeps. All right, I think I know who to keep behind here. Let's do that. Do that. And do that. Nice to have a lot of manpower there. Oh man. Totally nice to have. Uh. All right, now we keep a sturdy. A steady front, not a st but sturdy. Hopefully, it'd be sturdy enough too. Yeah, I lost all my transports, didn't I? Nope. Oh, I didn't lose them all. Nice. Actually, I didn't lose any of them. Sweet. All right. Now let's look at my economy. Now let's work on. S oh. Now it's time to work on my reinforcements because I know I am behind on those. But, thank, but thankfully I got some mobilization, which really helps. There we go, keep it just like that. Alright, so, now let's start pushing forward. I don't want to take Istanbul just yet. Though I want. I hope ever. I want to try to get Glippy and Adrianople. I want to get. I want to get these two so I can officially surround uh, Constantinople. I know I said Istanbul, but I want to keep trying to surround Constantinople here. If I can. But then again, none of the... I'm not, well, so I can easily surround it and just uh, you know, pile on both sides. On all three sides, I should say. Cause yeah, Berger doesn't go there. Okay. Uh, but that way... Actually, let me retreat back there. Um, it'll be easier instead of just doing a one-sided and just trying to pound Constantinople from just the, from the isthmus there. So that's my one concern. All right, so it's not like Ankara's uh, their capital anyway. Let's go after that now. So time is to surround and then just utterly destroy. Yeah, okay. Let me go that way, have you support attack this. Wipe out two divisions. Ooh, big deal. <laughs> but uh two divisions is quite a bit. Wow, you got that quick. Alright, so let's see. So oh, okay, so the only thing I need to do is hurry up and declare war on the Soviet Union. 
Or never mind. I'll just do that too. Yeah, kind of give me some time. How many divisions are there? Nine divisions. Okay. Alright, so. If I can do that. Pull maybe two divisions back. I want to keep guys keep these guys going. I want to bleed them dry. And that's fine. They can have that province back. Cuz the only thing that has any kind of value value is Ankara and Constantinople. All right, so it's uh, January twenty, January twenty first. It's January first, nineteen fifty one. Uh, so far, we've dug in pretty good in here in uh in Italy or in the Ottoman Empire, sieging Constantinople, and also trying to push the uh, the Ottoman forces back here in the pushing back in the east. Hell, oh, you know, just doing this, I probably should just give some territory to Turkey or to Turkey. Greece. Yeah, I think uh, Greece would appreciate some territory back. Maybe. What do you think? I think they should. Wow. They, they actually extend that far? Well, maybe. Maybe Greece. Maybe. I'd like to join. No. no don't want to join my lines. Alright, anyway. Um. But. Uh, actually, no, I want to keep going. I'm gonna actually keep going. I would actually end the video normally here, but I thought about it. Since I'm still at war with the Ottomans, I might as well just keep going until it ends. Just kind of make it one long video. You know. There we go. That's what I wanted. And it's actually not that long, is it? <laughs> All right, so we'll end it right here with the annexation of the Ottoman Empire under <laughs> technically a Roman banner <laughs> oh it's sweet it's so bittersweet all right let's see oh I can actually liberate Kurdistan liberate Turkey or give some territory back to Greece Ooh. <laughs> uh, and that would actually increase uh, Greece's uh, that would actually give them a nice little gain there, wouldn't it? Oh, look at that. Just annexing the Ottoman Empire actually gives me a 39% chance of them coming to the Alliance. Oh, man. Tempting. Very tempting indeed, as a matter of fact. But that is something to think about. Uh, now, since the war is over, now I can end the video right here. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will see you guys in the next video for uh, further while we go further into 1951 and a possible war with the Soviet Union. Actually, not possible, but a, pretty much a war with the Soviet Union. I would need to build up a little bit more, I'm sure. Let's fix that because my goods right now. Give me 108 days to develop. Huh. Or I can just do that. Tempting. Um, so yeah, tell me what you guys think. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this nice little Italiano uh, Turkish war, the second Italiano Turkish war. Um, so uh, with again another Italian victory over the uh, the Ottoman forces. So, until then, I will see you guys in the next video. So, until then, 